Hello everybody and welcome to a completely different type of video that I've never done before so I'm going to go ahead and apologize right off the bat. A couple things, I've never done a video like this and secondly, I'm not feeling 100% today so sorry if I'm not 100% into it but I'm going to try to do the best I possibly can. So first off, as you can tell by what you're looking at, I got a new phone. I have been dealing with a phone that I've had for a long time now, which is actually right here. I can show it to you. It's the uh, Samsung Charge, and it's nothing against Samsung. I um, Samsung makes really good products. I have nothing against Samsung, but the Charge was one of their cheaper models, I guess, and it did not withstand the test of time at all. It was very bad after about six months so I've decided to get a new phone and this phone is kind of special and kind of not at the same time um, as you can tell just by looking at it it's a Moto X it's a Motorola Moto X and as you can tell by the name of the title you know I'm gonna be unboxing this I just got it in today it still has the plastic film on it um, so yeah I mean we're just gonna kind of jump into it. I'm going to try to keep it in shot because I have such a tight shot on it. So I'm going to try to keep everything in shot. Um, but yeah, no, I'm very excited to get this phone. I've struggled with having my old phone for so long that I'm just so excited to get something new. And this one's a little bit special and I'll, I'll tell you why as we get more into it. But I'm going to go ahead and use my little my little snap-on multi-tool keychain. It's got a little flashlight and knife and screwdriver and all that put on your keys I don't know I can't remember where I got this but it's pretty cool let's go ahead and open this up hopefully I won't cut myself or anything important all right okay you don't need the film all right they want me to read this first, which is just a bunch of, um, you know, what to do and how to get things going, and we'll read that later. We don't need that. Okay. So, yeah, I've never done an unboxing. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be talking about, but let's, I, uh, should I open it? I don't know if I should. I mean, so, the thing is with the Moto X, before I open this, the thing is with the Moto X is, as you can see right here, Designed by you, if you can see that. I don't know if you can, will, will it go in focus? Yeah, right there, designed by you. Um, that is really cool because you can actually get this phone for, depending on the options you pick, you can actually get this phone for the same price that you would if you just bought it outright, which is what I did, I just bought this phone outright. I'm not on a contract or anything like that, I'm actually gonna go with a non-contract provider where you bring a phone, so I bought a new one for that. But designed by you, which is pretty much the reason why I decided to go with this phone. A couple other reasons, like technology-wise, you know, it has a lot of features that appeal to me. Um, I don't know the specs of it. This isn't a video to go off specs. I'm not that type of person. And like I've said, I've never done an unboxing before, so I apologize. So first things first, designed by me which is something that I was really, really excited about. And today's the 23rd. Yeah, today's the 23rd. Um, two days ago, Motorola released something that they said that they weren't going to be able to release for a couple months. And if they did, it was going to cost, you know, a certain amount of money. And it turns out that they overestimated how much it was going to cost. So the price of this extra feature went down quite a bit. And I can show you what that extra feature is if I... Did I? Did I open it? Well, I can already kind of see the edge of it. I don't know. <laughs> there it is. That is really cool. This is the first time I've ever seen this phone in person. Wow. Pretty dusty on the front. Um, and I left a fingerprint on it. Don't mind all the reflections in the phone. You don't need to know what those are. <laughs> um, but the reason why I decided to get this phone, which you already saw, was this. So Motorola 
offered for a couple days. They offered a uh, a phone with a real bamboo back. Now, it looked really cool. I liked the way the bamboo looked, and I was gonna order my phone on the 19th, I believe it was. I looked around, and the only thing that can, I actually went through the entire process. I made my phone. I did all this stuff, and. I went through the entire process and I was going, I was in the checkout and there was a little option for promotional code. So I said, well, why don't I look to see if there's any promotional codes out there that could save me a little bit of money. As I was looking, I somehow stumbled across the article on the wood backs. That article pretty much told me that, hey, on January 21st, Motorola is going to release the three other ones besides Bamboo which is uh, one's an ebony finish. This one is a uh, teak finish, I think it's finish. And then there's a, um, a walnut finish. So you have bamboo, teak, ebony, and walnut. This is the teak, and I don't know if there's any videos on it. I know there's a lot of videos on the, well, I'm pretty sure there's much better videos on this phone, but not from me. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so this is not the bamboo, it's the teak, and I did get it a little bit customized. And I'm a little bit of a narcissist because I got my, if it's gonna focus, which I don't think it is. It's a little weird because the camera is actually upside down, so I apologize if I'm moving it odd. But I got barrier bugs in it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it feels really good, actually. It does, it's, I mean, you can tell it's real wood. You know, that, that's definitely real wood. You got the um, Motorola Moto X dimple, which isn't that pronounced. That's one thing that I've, no, that I've noticed. I mean, even in just the pictures. I mean, as you can see here, looking at it from the side, you know, it's not the biggest bump there. And then one thing about the pictures of the regular Moto, that dimple right there is pretty noticeable. So... It's, um, yeah, that's, that's one thing, but I mean, I've, oh, oh God, I'm dropping it already. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've, um, like I've said, I've never seen a Moto X in person before. I've just seen them on videos and pictures and stuff like that. So I don't really have a comparison to tell you about the dimple. Um, other than that, I mean, it feels really good. The whole phone, I mean, it's light. Here's the front of it. And here's the comparison, if, if I can do this. I can do it over here, actually. So here's the comparison between the two phones. They're about the same size. The Moto X is a little bit bigger. And um, you can go ahead and see there, the Moto X is a little bit smaller. Of course, it's a little bit curved. Um, but overall, the Moto X is just a generally much better phone. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this over here. Um, what, what else do we have in here? We have this little cardboard thing. We have this thing that's probably like, hey, you know, if your phone stops to turn it off and turn it back on and call us if it does and then you can tell us. We can tell you to turn it and turn it back on. Uh, just instructions on how to charge it and stuff like that. Um, smart, safe, and protected thing. I don't know. Um, that was pretty much all that was in this little packet. And I'm having trouble putting it back in that packet. Kind of a cool envelope, to be honest. Cool little Motorola thing. I don't know if that code is important. I don't think so. The charger, of course, which you have your option to pick the color of. I picked white because, I mean, you know, the uh, the phone is kind of white there. Uh, <laughs> and then you have, what is this? Um, you have the SIM card oh my god that's a little that's a little dangerous there's like a little needle on that what the hell is this thing uh it's a sim card remover apparently but uh wow that is quite the needle on that thing um let me try to get this in shot and focus if i can i don't think this is helping in any way but yeah that's quite the needle on that very interesting uh <laughs> so yeah if you wanted to stab your phone, you can do that. Motorola gives you the option to uh, stab your phone. Um, God, 
God, I'm terrible. This is why I don't do boxing unboxing videos, because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to put everything back. Like, I didn't know anything about it. Oh, I also got... I mean, I guess I could open this. It's a little case. Um, let me go ahead and try to figure out how to open this. While you hear it in the background. Let me just... Yeah. Um... Okay, that doesn't really make sense. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Alright, no, that does make that makes a lot of sense, but I was being dumb. Okay. Well, let's take this out. Let me, uh, so we got this little clear case. I went with clear because I mean obviously I want to that would feel so good though. I don't know if I want to cover it. Um I'm guessing it goes like this. This is kind of scary. Let me, uh, I got a little little cleaner here. Let me wipe that screen off. Make it nice and not dusty. Um, but yeah, so this is it with the case on. You can still see the wood finish, which is really cool. Uh, I got this because obviously, you know, I want to see the wood finish, but at the same time, I want to protect it. You know, I spent quite a bit on this phone and I want to keep it for a while. Um... But yeah, I mean, it's a really, it's a really nice looking wood. It's really, I mean, the pictures like, you know, pictures on a, on a screen or one thing, but this is, um, I really, I'm liking this. This is really cool. Um, currently this phone is not active. I need to switch it over and be active, but I thought it was cool that I would, you know, take a little bit of time, show you guys and, uh, let me know what you think. Do you guys like the, the wood on the back? I mean, it's. I don't know. Maybe later on I'll do... I have an Elgato which can actually record mobile devices. So maybe I'll play some uh, mobile games. And, um... You know, you guys can, uh... Like that. Or dislike that. Depending. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, terrible setup video. I'm gonna put my little, my little knife away. And, um... Yeah, so I hope to see you guys in a gaming video where I actually know what I'm doing. And, uh, see you guys next time. Bye. How do I wave? Bye. Bye.